Welcome back guys. Today I've got a review for you. So today I was walking through Dollar Tree looking for something for to put ashes in. And I've been to Dollar Tree before and I saw this handle, different types of broom heads and mop heads. A dollar for the handle, a dollar for the head. And I've always wanted to try it because they seem pretty well built. So today I picked something up and I, I want to review it and uh, show you guys what it is. All right, guys, here it is. So it is the essential. It has the uh, loop and uh, hook and loop fittings on it. This is the microfiber mop light duty pad. And just for a quick off note, I used to clean Bass Pro Store number one at night. And I actually used a regular mop head for mopping. And it was all right. I never liked how too much water made it pull up and look terrible. It would dry weird. Too little water and it would just be a mess also. One night we was at a mop heads and when I used one, the ones just like this to mop with, and I am not even kidding. It is so much quicker and much more consistent to mop with these types of heads. Um, like literally, I have not used a string mop since then. But off that note, so they have this, they have a more of a, it's like this shape, but it's more of a, like, like a, a feather duster type one. It's not feather, it's microfiber, but it's like fluffy. They have a microfiber version of this that's like a more conventional uh, microfiber. They have like a push broom head and of course a corner broom head. So what I'm gonna do first to go ahead and test this is I'm going to do just a general sweep on my floor. Um, it, I'd say, but it's been a couple weeks since I've swept. I've just been busy on Sundays, and today is one of my days off, so I'm just gonna do it. It doesn't look too terribly dirty. I will say though, I fried some chicken last night, so there is a haze of oil on the floor, which for those of you that have used microfiber, you will know that water and microfiber tend to not mix too well. So we're gonna see how it handles that. Um, this pole on the hand, it is 47 inches long. It's 0.8 inches. It's I'm, I'm just over six foot and it's plenty long enough. So I'm gonna put, get this put together and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do some other tests and uh, back when I've got it all put together. And as to be kind of expected with these types of brooms, they will be really good for getting up against baseboards, walls and stuff like that. Um, if you're kind of an elevator person or if you have issues with muscle, I will say that this will be really nice. I am so sorry with this camera mm -hmm. movement. Um, my first impression is what I was kind of worried about because I've actually bought these types of heads before and they had issues with flipping on the floor. Um, this one seems to be doing just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and just up here. And yes, so far the Velcro. Velcro seems like it's doing okay. I'm shaking the crap out of it. Nothing's happening. Um, so with that, with that about 12 inch span of head, it's gonna be pretty nice for tight areas. Um, over there, there's some paint overspray. That's why it's kind of wanting to catch over there. There's nothing over there that I can really do anything with. Um, now, of course, this will still require a corner burn to sweep up the pile but the way I see it if this does a better job with fine dust which we're gonna be testing in just a second then it's it's already better than the corner burn because corner burn is as we all know not very good with with fine dust so up next I'm gonna go ahead and get to swept up I'm, I'm gonna do a test with some flour and see how it handles fine debris now I do want to say yes this does say that it's a mop head on a commercial level, we would use this for both. It could be used for both. I wouldn't use it for both. I would use it either for wet or dry unless you plan on washing it between those different types of applications. That's what this said. We'll be back in a second to put some flour down and see how it does. All right, guys, I'm back. So what I have on my counter is flour, and I do have sugar in there too. Um, just to simulate like a really bad spill. So I do have it here. There was just there was some dust stuff in here. I forgot to kind of show that to you. But I personally use my hand to wipe it off in the trash can. If you don't like that, which I wouldn't blame you, 
use like a, you know, like a corner broom or something or something to kind of dust it off. So what I'm looking for here is smearing. Uh, seeing how quick it clogs, if it smears. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and uh, see how it does. So for the first pass, it looks really good. That, that's a paint chip. And then on the underside, it not clogged at all. And second pass. Thing. So far, it seems like it's not clogging. Let's see the underside again. And then, what I'm going to do next, no smear. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to smear this back out. I'm going to put it in the middle. That way, it has a chance to get clogged and see how it handles that. So, I'll be back whenever I get this re smeared out. All right, guys, I've got it smeared back out. Here's the head. I dust it all off into it. Go ahead and just kind of set it down in a couple of areas. Not bad. We'll see how it does now. I don't expect it'll be any different. I'm not really using a whole lot of pressure on here, by the way. I'm really not. I'm gonna kind of do this so I can really get it in there. So. Looks, looking at it through the camera, I do see some some spots, you know, just a little, almost like it's getting caught on a groove or something. Um, other than that, it looks fine. Um, I think for fine debris, even with this style, there are, if you're, honestly, if you're looking for strictly fine debris, uh, the, the conventional microfiber style is much better. It's the white one usually, and they just sell it there. Um, so, with all this showed, do I think it's worth three dollars? Um, to be honest, I think I think the build quality of the handle, and it's actually longer than you would imagine. And the head, I suspect this is going to last quite a while. I wouldn't really use it on really textured surfaces. Or rough concrete because it it won't it won't work. Um, with that said, though, I think being how it has the first versatility of you know the different types of mop heads, the different types of brim heads, I would probably pick one up if I was you if you're on a budget because to be honest, it seems pretty pretty sturdy and it didn't have any issues with streaking. So with that said. If you guys have any questions for me, put them down in the comments. If you guys have anything you want me to review or try, put it down in the comments. And with that said, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. You have a great night.